right, welcome. Now, if you see that banner, that's our uh, montage, you're going to say, yes, time for us to talk business. Now, how many of you be business owner, uh, where we say for months, the things that you get for inside your store, still they there, nobody they buy them. Or you they work for a company and they give you targets on how to bring money into the company, but you don't try to speak with people and nobody they actually buy into what you they sell. That's why we get this gadget person inside the house. In a highly sought after sales and persuasion expert um, for local, international, and multinational corporation. Even at the CEO of Ultra Vanja, no, Ultra Vantage, and founder of the Iore Ogbugwe Sales Academy. And he has also gets sales seminars, where they do for inside Obudu, Nigeria, to educate people more on how to sell their products, not just in Nigeria alone, in Ghana mm -hmm. and United States of America. Even now also author of five books where they sell now. No saying that Kajat person now we get inside the house. And join me, welcome Iore Obuge, Obugwe. 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 Sorry. Thank you so much for having me here on set. Welcome to Thank the you studio. So much. Now, when it comes to sales and when it comes to marketing, we know say that they always use women. Mm. They always use women, even if not corporate organization, if not the financial sector, they always use women to push the sales. Why is that perception? In, is it peculiar just to the African market or even overseas? That's what they do. And why is it saying that women that they push? That's so funny. Okay, really, um, sales is a skill. You can't tie selling to any gender mm -hmm. because the same way riding a bicycle is a skill. You can't say because men ride bicycles better, therefore only men should ride bicycles. Women too can ride bicycles. So men too can sell. So it's not really, it shouldn't really be a gender focus, but maybe some people, because of their misconception of what selling okay. is, they think you need someone, a lady, maybe to... Maybe, she, maybe they think the lady will be more persuasive, you know, to get the <laughs> business in. But really, when it comes to selling, what, what does it mean to sell? Selling is proving that what I can give to you is greater in value than what I can get from you. So th this is because clients don't underpay. They don't overpay, sorry. They only underpay. So as long as you can prove to the prospect that they are underpaying compared to the value they are getting, then they would exchange their money with, with the products you have to offer. Very but true, and I think, this, so and I think that's one of the reasons why you're here, um, basically. Now, looking at your, your CV, or rather your profile, um, it day obvious, say you study agriculture for school, but now you are a business guru. And another thing they get with, they're very striking in your profile. They say you actually grow it, a portfolio of $3.5 million to $7 million in just 11 months. Yes. Tell us the magic. Or the juju where you use? No, there's no magic or juju. There has to be. I mean, <laughs> people never have to find out because if they know, <laughs> there has to be. Um. See, there's no magic or juju. The truth is this. If you want to sell a product, the first thing is we need to check your mind. Because, you see, the mind is a sales organ. It's a sales tool. The sale takes place in the mind first before it takes place on the outside. If you don't believe you can sell this product, if you don't believe you can sell, then life would prove to you that you can't really sell. So the first thing is to accept it mentally for that I can do this thing. Any target given to me can be met, can be exceeded. That's the first thing. The second thing is you need to identify your target market. So first thing, your mindset. Second thing, identify your target market. If you're trying to sell to everybody, you will not sell to anybody. That's the truth. You need to decide who am I going to be selling to? Who is my product targeted to? Or who is it aimed for? Now, this is important because there's a part of the brain called the reticular activating system. That's the part of the brain that helps you identify the things that are most important to you now. So as I speak now, you can only hear my voice. But there are many sounds around us at the same time. It's just like you want to buy a new car and you tell yourself, I want to buy a red car or a red Toyota Camry. For some reason, when you go out, everywhere you go, you start to see the red Toyota Camry. Oh, yes, it's true. <coughs> I noticed that. Because it's you true. It more Good. Easily. Because you notice it more very easily. It's yeah. not like the government shipped in red Toyota Camrys. No. But the RAS, the reticular activating system, helps you identify it quickly. When you want to sell your products, when you identify your target market and you decide, oh, my target market is going to be bankers, or my target market is going to be single women, or my target market is going to be people who live in this particular area, what will happen is automatically in your, in your brain, you will start to see those people all around you. And very easily you can spot your prospects. You will now be able to speak with them the right way. You will now know exactly what their needs are and be able to profess solutions to those needs. Now, so it's all about the mind. Yes, first thing is the mind. So first thing in the mind, yes. then identify your target, identify target market. market. Then the third, then the third one. one is you need to differentiate between the features of your product and the benefits. People do not buy features. What they buy are benefits. benefits. And yeah. you must be clear. How? Now, if you sell phones, for example, 
or this device. Okay. What are the benefits of this device? The benefits can't be the fact that this device has, um, maybe, oh, this device has XYZ camera feature, maybe 3.5 megapixel. That's not the, that's, that, that's a feature. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, this device has two USB ports at the back. That's mm -hmm. a feature. What are the benefits of that 3.5 megapixel? The benefit is this. When you take your picture, even if the light is not too bright, it will be very sharp. So when you post it on social media, it will be easy for people to like. You should be able to state the benefits you, you of the state product. The benefits. Don't allow the prospect do the thinking. Think for the customer. Now, in a situation where competition day, and I don't imagine say they try to sell you, with, yes. this, is the, this is the case, and then they try to sell to me, and they tell you, say, ah, but no, this other brand gets something similar now, so why should I still buy from you? How the salesperson will fit, make sure, say, your own products fit outstand competitors, when, especially when clients, they bring the competitor's brand into question. Two things. We do not sell our similarities. We sell our differences. So you must identify your competitors. You know, if, you, if you're going to market with a new product, and there are, you, should be, you should find out, are there other products that are like this one? When you, when you find out that, if you find out that there are other products, what are the features of these products? What are my own features? You juxtapose and find out, okay, ah, wow, mine can do this. This one can't do that. Then it's a difference. Now, there could be a clause. What if you have the exact same thing? The features are the same with the competitor. What do you now do? That's where you become the difference. Because in selling, people buy you first before they buy the products. Mm -hmm. People would only buy from you if they know you, one, they like you, two, and they trust you. So if they know you, if nobody knows you, nobody buy from you. Now, speaking of knowing, when we come to social media and selling on social media, a lot of times they don't know who you are. Very good. So, so now, now that one, selling. exactly. So exactly. now, now they, they're very difficult. And a lot of people, a lot of people go online now. Mm. Lot, you know, they see as many people in the entire market compared to online. Mm. People, they prefer to sit down for the comfort of their toilets to mm. buy online. Mm. In that kind of situation. Why toilet? <laughs> <laughs> because of this, exactly, because of this. Okay. So now people, when no, they don't know you. You don't know them. And they try to get your target audience online. They try to sell mm. online. How easy or how difficult can it be for people? It's called social media because it's a social part of it. In the same way, there is a social part outside the social media platforms. If you meet someone for the first time, you have to get to know the person first, isn't it? You can't meet a lady and you want to get married to her on the spot. You want to propose to her on the spot. She will tell you no, most likely. But if you can start a relationship, you start with dating. So you must, you must date the prospects first. I don't mean dating prospects physically. What I mean is, on, if you're on social media, ensure that the people that are following you, the people you're following, whichever, you know, you know each other to an extent. Not by the, maybe you may not know them personally, but at least let them, be, let them familiarize themselves with you. Post videos of yourself about what you do. Educate them on the benefits of your products. Give them value. Tell them things about um, how they can improve their lives with what you have to offer. Maybe not directly. It's not like you're selling this device now. You tell people, if you buy my device, you'll be happier. Mm -mm, no. Mm. You could talk about what are the benefits of using your uh, iPad or a tablet yeah. to make your lives more effective. Five ways to, to, to choose or buy the best tablets. Three things to do if your tablet isn't working right. So you talk and build information and content around that area. Because in our world today, knowledge is the new goal. It is. Yes. It is. Knowledge you know what's interesting goal. about this conversation? Now, it's not just for people where you get business. Even for you where they look for a job, Very your good. CV must be able to explain exactly. the benefits where you go bring to that company. Exactly. Even for you where they work for a company where they're not, where they're not they sell products, exactly. at least your personality and your attention to detail mm. should be able to sell yourself. Mm. That's now why I like the fact when you come out and talk, say the first thing that for you to change your mindset, mm. you need to actually change that. Let's dwell on the second part now. You talk about identifying your target mm. um, market. market. Now, some people don't actually identify their target market. Yes. Let's say you're working in the bank like you did, yes. and then your target market is not like the millionaires or the billionaires. Good, good. In some cases, they get rejection. Very good. So when so, you are rejected, how do you reposition yourself? Hmm, that's a very good question. Now, you see, selling without rejection is not selling. Oh. Rejection is part of the package. So the more, see, you, you don't overcome rejection by hoping you would overcome rejection. You overcome rejection by confronting it. The only way you can overcome rejection is by developing a thick skin. And the more you sell, the more you talk to people about your products, the better you become at handling a rejection. It always starts with the mind. When someone tells you no, what's your perception? What does that mean to you? 
Remember what we said. Selling is proven that what I can give to you is greater in value than what I can get from you. This means that if a prospect says, no, I don't want it, what does that mean? It just simply means that you've not given me enough information to prove to me that what you're giving me is greater in value than the money you're telling me to pay. So what do you do as a salesperson? You then step back and tell yourself, okay, now, this means that he doesn't yet see the value of what I'm offering. We strategize and explain again. That's Try what it means. That's, that's explain that's more on the sell. benefits. Yes, explain when no one on is the buying. benefits. But when do, you, when do you realize that you've become a disturbance? Because I, even me, now, okay. I know some people where you say, play my music, play my music, and then they, they disturb you 247. When do you draw the line between being a disturbance or and being persistent? And being persistent? Okay, now, this is what you should do. The point where the prospect thinks you're a disturbance is at the point where you're trying to follow up. Mm -hmm. yes. It may not necessarily be in the engagement, yes. isn't it? Now, whenever, you want, whenever you're following up, ensure that there is always a link to the next conversation. If somebody is calling you now and wants you to play their music, and the person says, okay, um, can, I, can you play my music for me today? And you say, no, we'll play it tomorrow, or we'll play it later. Mm -hmm. Okay, the person should now ask, okay, when can I call you back? Can I call you maybe tomorrow, Wednesday, or Friday later this week? And I'll say, no, don't call me. <coughs> I think the right word is nuisance. I'll say, no, don't call me. So okay, if the person says don't call you, then stop calling. It's as simple oh, as you that. stopped calling. You, yeah, you, you just stopped said calling. no. Don't call me. Okay, you know, then, then don't. No, call. don't call me. I will call you. Don't call me. I'll call you. Yes. <laughs> then don't call. Let me tell you how to handle that. Okay, please. Because you see, um, in selling, there's what we call the sales process. The sales process means you start from prospecting. You get the prospects. Next thing is you build rapport. Mm -hmm. After you build rapport, you identify what the needs are, or you qualify the prospect first. Be sure the person even has the money to pay. Is a decision maker and all that. You also identify what the needs are of the person. You prefer the solution, hand, handle the objections, and you close the sale. The second part, which is rapport, is the most important part in the sales process. Because rapport simply means finding common ground. Because people only do business with people they like. So yes. you, as much as possible, your aim is to, how do I get this person to like me? How do I build rapport with this person? How can I, oh, I went to this school, you went to that school, we went to the same school. Oh, we're from the same states. You find a way to create common ground. Because based on that, it will be difficult for you to tell me, don't call me. Mm. Do you understand it now? So if, it's when rapport has not been built that you can then say, don't call me, I'll call you. And if rapport has been built and you even tell me, don't call me, I'll call you, do you know what I'll say? I'll say, ah, ah, I know you're busy because rapport has been built. I know you're busy now. OK, you know what? Can I call you maybe next month? What do you think? At least you may be less busy then. Why? Because rapport has been built. Amazing. In other words, building relationships. Building relationships. But with the rapport plans. has not been built. And the person says, don't call me. You better don't call. Wow. <laughs> I wish we could keep wow. you here till tomorrow because very interesting conversation where we don't get with um, Iyore Obuikwe. Obuikwe. Obuikwe, yes. yes. And you know, tell us how you can sell that product uh, rather than just keep them on your shelf. So selling where no one is buying. Mm. Tell us about your media platform. Maybe people feel with you. I know you do a lot of um, trainings online, so give us your platform. Okay, fine. My website is yoreogwigwe.com. Now, for the spelling, www.yore, I-Y-O-R-E-O-G-B-U-I-G-W-E.com. Let me just say it again. I-Y-O-R-E-O-G-B-U-I-G-W-E.com. So it's on the screen? Yes. So on top, what of on top Yore Instagram? Google. Com. Same thing, on so Facebook, Instagram, on all platforms. And, all, and, and on all these platforms, we put out... Um, sales tips you can use mm. twice every day nice. so that we can Fantastic. help people grow in their sales. And of course, you can, if you want to sign up for our sales academy too, once you reach me via social media platforms or via um, any of those channels, the websites, we can take it from there and we can invite Thank you to our sales. You. I don't know wow. about you, but you have to truly follow him because wow. truly, in the best way, get him up there. You have to follow him. Thank you very much for coming to the studio this Thank morning. So very informative, very Thank educative. So to enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.